Oratorio de Don Bosco. Bienvenidos al Oratorio de Don Bosco. I'm coordinating the, the activity of the oratory here in the church for youth and uh, teenagers. Uh, my role in the church is a pastor. So one of the activities is uh, thinking about youth, youth ministry, and, and information from them as well. Um, my name is Patricio Carpio. Uh, I'm in charge of coordinating activities in the oratory every Saturday. We usually start at 10 30. All the kids come in at a time. Parents, they drop the kids. We do some uh, arts while waiting for all the kids. Uh, at 10.35, we start doing what we call a dinamica, which is a song where everybody participates. It's usually a song that uh, motivates the kids and make them do silly things, but they get into the rhythm of the day. After that, we have a small space of formation Uh, we are not um, a center where we bring formal orientation, but we just talk about things that are important in kids' lives, like be respectful, cleanliness, uh, sharing, stuff like that. And we do it on, in just a few minutes. We try to be always uh, very dynamic on this, so with examples, plays, videos. After that, we have a bunch of activities. We have a, a tremendous group of people behind us that they have every Saturday they come with great ideas. Uh, they do uh, arts, they do playing, and uh, doll. Uh, well, for instance, for Mother's Day, they created a present for their moms, like small pots with succulentas. Uh, we also have sports, volley, basketball, soccer. Uh, around noon, we come back together We relax a little bit with other songs. We have what we call the Buenas Tardes, the good evening, where we repeat the message of the day. There is a task that we give for a homework that we give for the week, which is based on something the kids have to do during the week. And then we eat, and all the parents come and grab the kids. Hello, my name is Yakira Landa Berry, and I'm one of the uh, volunteers for the Oratorio, one of the adult volunteers. Many of the kids are coming from CCD, which is the um, uh, classes that prepare the students or, or the children to do their first communion. So we usually uh, start the oratorio after the CCD so that the kids that were there can come over and then have a little bit of fun. So we provide them a space where they can run, where they can let their creativity run. We provide a lot of activities for them to do from building airplanes, paper airplanes, to um, using paint and creating art or using crayons, colored pencils or markers to uh, color already made pages or they can create their own uh, art. Uh, we have uh, activities where we provide the materials and we give them an idea of what they can do with the materials and they go with that, like making fans, like making baskets. Um, overall, we're just trying to provide a safe space for them to uh, be themselves and, and uh, again, uh, explore the things that they can do when they're just placed in, a, in an environment where they have all these things that they can they can use to you know put together things they we also have a station for legos for those who like making things uh, uh like build 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 things so that's another area where we go and then we have a lot of young people that come to volunteer some of them do it to obtain their volunteer hours community service hours for for school but some of them do it because It's, it's something maybe they see themselves doing in the future, working with young people as well. Um, a lot of these uh, uh, young uh, volunteers help and serve as role models to the younger kids. They make sure that they're safe in any activity that we're doing. If they're using, for example, scissors, which we you know, always try to make sure that the equipment that we use is something that the kids are not gonna hurt themselves with, but having someone a little older Uh, to, that knows how to use them and can help them how to use them is always useful. Uh, also, when we're playing games and there's running involved or jumping, a lot of the 
uh, older uh, volunteers, or young older volunteers, help protect them so that they don't hurt themselves. Um, and overall, just uh, hoping that these uh, young volunteers will become the leaders of a group like this in the future as well, or anywhere they go, really. I mean, they could be, they can develop their leadership skills so that they can put them to use at school, in the community, in, 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 in programs like this, which are very helpful to everyone involved. I, like I said, I've been here uh, since 2003 helping, and it has always been a fun and positive uh, experience for me. Um, I'm, again, one of the older volunteers, and uh, I'm usually part of the uh, team that decides what's going to happen week by week, but we always consider uh, ideas from young people, from even from the children. We, we always want to take into consideration what they want for the space, because ultimately they're the ones who are going to be using it and going to be um, coming and, and, and seeing what is, what is happening day by day. Soy el padre Luis, aquí trabajo como 12 o 13 años en esta parroquia. Eh, soy salesiano. Yo conocí el oratorio y la escuela salesiana cuando era niño. Entonces estoy muy alegre de ser parte de la, de la familia salesiana. Uh, para mí los valores que promociona Don Bosco, la sencillez, la humildad, la alegría, la simpatía, eso también un trato practicar la vida, sobre todo acá en el oratorio con los niños, el trato de venir aunque sea un ratito. El oratorio es el corazón de nuestra parroquia, el corazón de las escuelas. Sin oratorio no hay obras salesianas, por eso es tan importante, porque los niños son importantes para nuestros jóvenes, son importantes para nosotros en la parroquia. Por eso, tampoco, eh, por eso me gusta trabajar con los niños, con los jóvenes, también con la familia. El oratorio, eh, tanto empezó algo el padre justo, después como que anduvo muriendo, Después el grupo de ATMA, cuando yo llegué empezamos a trabajar con el laboratorio. El laboratorio antes teníamos, eh, durante la semana teníamos futbolito, teníamos básquetbol, cuando íbamos a la escuela nos quedaban ese tiempo la escuela, pues ya no nos quisieron prestar la escuela, entonces no teníamos lugar para ir a los niños jóvenes para el fútbol, o el soccer y también el básquetbol al otro lado. Y también teníamos guitarra, enseñamos guitarra y, y también folclore en el laboratorio. Y ahora se redujo solamente al día estado. Y el completo ahí el folclore que aparte eh, con el auditorio. Entonces, sí si se movió bastante gente los primeros tiempos, después, pero se ha mantenido, con poquito, con muchos niños, se ha mantenido por más de 13 años, 14 años, se ha mantenido acá en la parroquia. Y un poquito antes con el padre Justo también, en sus eh, como 5 años, el auditorio fue funcionando cuando estuvo el padre Justo. Después, como que nadie lo, lo tomó, cuando yo llegué, una actividad que más me gusta, ¿cierto? Estaríamos de retomar, con, especialmente con el grupo de alma y algunos voluntarios que, que, que trabajaron para esto. Don Bosco was a priest uh, born in Italy in 1815 and died in 1888. Uh, he found a, a one street guy in Baldoco. His name was Bartolome Garelli. And with him, he understood that they needed uh, space and formation. Step by step, he gathered 10, 20, 25 boys, and that was the beginning of his mission. The oratory is the beginning of the Salesian School, the University School, all the workshops we have on the, the world and our missions. The Bosco tried to look for the best of the youth in his time, and he's alive today. If I were to tell you what the vision or the mission statement of our, um, of our group is, or, or, or of our program is that we just want kids to build up their confidence, kids to be themselves, provide a space for young people to feel safe and know that they're supported and that they can count with the um, older uh, volunteers to help in, of course, you know, there are limits, uh, but uh, that they know that there's someone they can talk to and, and, and also if they have any projects of their own or creativity of their own that they wanna provide for the, for the space that they're, they know that they're, they're allowed to bring it in. And, and, and again, always in mind with creating leadership because they're the ones who are going to become the leaders of the future.
future and the leaders of this community. Territory of the specialists look at the formation, crisis information and human information in uh, informal activities. It is not uh, the institution of the school, but it's another kind of uh, free activities where we try to perform better persons for our society.